Welcome back to Learn PHP on Code Academy. We're in the PHP strings and variables section. This is variable parsing. In the last exercise, we saw how concatenating a number of strings and string variables got annoying. There's an easier way. PHP strings allow us to place variables directly into double quoted strings. These variables will be parsed, which means the computer will read the variables as the value they hold rather than see them as just a sequence of characters. Here we have a dog name is assigned tadpole. Favorite name is assigned salmon. Color is assigned brown. Here we can do echo with the string I have a color dog name dog name and her favorite food is favorite food. And this would also print I have a brown dog named tadpole and her favorite food is salmon. PHP string parsing is incredibly useful. Whenever PHP sees a dollar sign inside a string, it will assume all the characters next to it until it reaches a character that couldn't be included in a variable name or a part of the variable name. Sometimes this can get complicated. Consider the following example. Here we have toy is assigned frisbee. We echo Alex likes playing with toys. The code above will cause an error. Why? The computer was looking for a variable, toys, and couldn't find one. Fear not. PHP allows us to specifically indicate the variable name by wrapping it in curly braces to avoid any confusion. We'll include the dollar sign followed by the variable name wrapped in curly braces. Here we have dog name, tadpole, favorite food, treat, color, brown. We then have echo. I have a color-ish dog named dog name and her favorite food is favorite foods. This prints I have a brownish dog named tadpole and her favorite food is treats. Let's have PHP do some variable parsing for us. We're going to write a silly sentence PHP program. There are a number of variables assigned to the string. Replace each of them with words of the designated type. Let's zoom out and do that. Let's run it. We pass. 2 says, beneath the three variables, there is an echo statement with three blanks in it. Replace those blanks with the three variables in the order they are declared. Let's do that here. Let's run that. We pass. 3 says at the end of the program there's a commented outline of code. We commented it out because it wasn't working properly. Fix the line of code and uncomment it. Let's fix that. Here we have echo, new line. I have always been obsessed with nouns and adjectives and I'm always verbing. So here we just have to fix how this is spelled. Let's run it. Got to get rid of the S. Now run it. Did you use curly braces? Let's use curly braces. Let's run it again. In that time we do pass. So what we're learning here is variable parsing. We're able to make sure that our variable is parsed incorrectly and we can do that using the curly braces. As long as you're understanding that you guys are getting variable parsing and I'll see you in the next lesson.